So where am I today guys? Well, I am back at Hever Castle, which I did a video from inside the house back in 20, 2020. And look who I'm with everyone. It's Al, my old mate Al. Hello, hello. Um, he's part of the uh, events today. Here comes someone up. All these people are yeah, walking up to us. I remember him. Yes, I remember you all. I remember yes. You. yes, how are you, mate? All right. Glad right. <laughs> to see you. You're still videoing. Right. I'm still videoing. <laughs> we did paranormal investigation yeah, with this yeah. man. You all right? Yeah, good, good. Yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. Good, good. Let's come along, do a video, and uh, see what's going on. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I think it's going now to be. Now the sun's come out. Yeah, beautiful. It's a bit of a muddled um, opening to the video. It's great. So yeah, I was here in 2020 and did a video. I'm not going inside Haver Castle itself. Um, I did that before and I'll link that video below. That was really good. And we're just out onto the lake. Look at that. Weather's looking okay. We've had a little bit of light rain, but nothing to worry about too much. And um, it's gonna be great. I'm not sure how much uh, music and singing is going to be copyrighted. There's a lot of old 1940s tunes and everything. Lovely garden. I always love this part of Hever Castle. Um, but we'll have to see once I upload it, I'll know if I've <laughs> breached any copyright laws and might have to re-edit it somehow. Um, look at that, beautiful. He's just getting louder. <laughs> Might just talk over it quickly. Um, this garden's fantastic though. If you don't come into the house, the house and gardens, sorry, the gardens are fantastic to look at. Very cool. It's very much like that 1940s event we did at Tilford at the Rural Life Museum last year. I think I'll link that below as well. Um, it's great. And there of course is Hever Castle, which um, of course is associated with Anne Boleyn and her childhood, and Thomas Bullen, her father, who bought the property, or inherited the property was buried in the churchyard uh, in the church next door which hopefully I'm gonna have a look at. But say so if you want to go inside look at the video below. Very famous with the Astor family as well in the 20th century. Very historic medieval all oh, you Tudor nuts I think Henry VIII very much probably came here um, back in the day. 
We're on a flight path. Lovely little gardens here. So we're not going, even with not going in the house, um, it still costs 18 pounds to come, to come in, which is fair enough. Sun keeps popping out, it's very muggy today though, so it is hot, very muggy. Come look through here. Oh yeah. We don't get lost in a maze now, do we? Oh yeah. This is it. Yeah, the Astor Wing, created 1903 to 1908 by William Waldorf Astor. Available exclusively for weddings, corporate events, and private dining. But that costs a lot. Henry would have come through those gates. I say all the information about the house is in the video below from three years ago, four years ago. Ooh, no entry. Door alert. Actually, the ambience of the 1940s music in the background really adds, hopefully, to the video, so I ain't got to put much incidental music on. It'd be great. Oh, some vintage vehicles and an old Spitfire, which is obviously, I imagine, a reconstruction Spitfire over there. Gonna have a look at the second. Very pleasant. Anne Boleyn's Orchard, it's called. Fantastic old buildings here. Private residence, no entry. Okay. We weren't going to go in anyway. Here's the orchard. Flowers. I don't know my flowers. I don't know fauna, I'm afraid. So, um,. I help you. Lovely. chilled out, everyone having a great time, very 1940s, with Tudor overtones.
Italian garden. We're walking back through, so we can go down to the waterfront because Al said that they're doing something down there at 11.20. Um, so we'll go and uh, check that out. Hello. Oh, we're on the boat. <laughs> I think that's Al at the back there. Yeah. Al, stop. Never put Al at the back of a boat. <laughs> Yeah, that was really good fun walking around the home front event uh, on the Saturday at Haver Castle. Bumped into Al, found Al, that was great. Came here to see him, catch up with him. Um, looking for him at the end, but I, can't, I didn't answer his phone. Um, but yeah, it's very, very, very cool. Um, really enjoyed that. Great, everyone's just having a good time, chilled out, it's really cool. We're now going to go have lunch at a pub that was closed for a while, the Wheat Chief. Um, over in Bow, Bow, Bow Green, and um, we haven't. I think we had the last time we had a mill there was about 2010. So uh, it'd be nice going back there. Uh, it's been reopened since 2014, 15th century um, pub, and uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 